It's been pissing down with the rain all day. Uh, so it's not the best of conditions, but luckily our skin is waterproof. I am 3.37 miles in. One thing I've learned running on a train like this, I have to re-educate myself and relearn how to go by fast cadence because I automatically want to grip a little bit more. I'm trying to convince myself, this is good, this is good. Okay, which way do I go? I'm Chris Gethin. I'm going to be training to prepare for an Ironman. Most people give themselves two years. I'm giving myself six months, and we're going to do it. This is a bloody hard first session. How you been, dude? Everything's been A-OK. -okay. Started off with, uh, it was supposed to be a 90 minutes easy ride, mm -hmm. uh, but it was a route that I hadn't taken before and it turned out to be a little bit mountainous, but it was good, it was easy, you know? And then I followed that up immediately with that five mile charity mm -hmm. run. And lo and behold, would you believe it, we both won our categories, our <laughs> age category. Excellent. Something's obviously working, what you're, what you're telling me, buddy. So I was really, really happy about that. Did exactly as you said, started very slow. Literally everybody passed us. And then it was around mile three, three and a half, we started picking them off and had the power to pretty much sprint at the end, which was really, really good. And it obviously paid off. Excellent, excellent. So going into this week, uh, would you suggest anything uh, different further than the program? The only thing I would say is, you know, this might be, uh, I would like it as some of the intensity starts to ramp up. Um, I know getting aggressive with recovery sounds backwards, but um, you know, over the course of this week, uh, kind of more precisely track what you're doing for your entire recovery protocol the rest of the day. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. Sure thing, chat soon. Just under an hour done, we're completed. Shoulders, triceps, and abs completed in well under an hour, so that's good. Now, we're gonna get into the pool. Now our body's pre-fatigued after I've had my re-caged and get this cardio did. I can't talk during my rest. I've done 150 fast. Oh my god. Now the 150 is supposed to be easy. Jeez, I don't know if I can do it. Some days will go hard, and uh, other days will be very, very easy. And that's like your recovery. You know, there's no great areas where we're going at a pace. That's kind of difficult, but kind of easy. You know, you're not gonna progress there. It's either go fucking hard or go easy as an active recovery. What is tough about this bloody Watt bike, even on zero resistance, I keep checking to see if it is on zero, and it is. It's harder than any other spin bike. So I think what I may do next time is just put my bike on, on the trainer and do that instead because there is resistance on this. What's up guys and girls? Chef Gethin here in his kitchen. Without further ado, let's have some egg cheese on toast. And tree. So I'll let that cook for about, I don't know, 
five, six minutes until the top's cooked as well. I know all the pros are there saying you shouldn't use a metal in the frying pan. So be it. Put on a little bit of fat-free cheese. One on there like so, and one on there. And I'll leave that on there for about four or five minutes. All right, that's been four minutes, not even five. Good, because I'm friggin' hungry. So there we go, our little toasties. Voila. Good morning. It is 3.30 a.m. And um, I'm going to the gym early, obviously, because I have to fly to New York early this morning. Shut the fuck up, I know I'm not the bell on. If I do sacrifice anything, normally when it comes to my busy travel schedule, it is usually sleep. I will never sacrifice a workout, ever. And people say, but it's important to have your sleep. Yeah, it's fucking important to get your workouts in as well. Remember, this is a muscle building program regardless. So muscle building comes first, then uh, uh, workouts that are specific to my goal, which is uh, an Iron Man, is coming second. Let's hit it. What's up, guys? It's been a bad, bad couple of days, uh, to be honest with you. When I was in New York, filmed those workouts that I had there, filmed the travel, filmed the meals that I was eating and everything like that. The SIM card become corrupt. Apparently, um, you know, I should replace them. This is the first time this has ever happened to me. And anyway, so all that footage is lost. Good morning, it is day 11, eight, nine, 10, yeah, day 11. And uh, only on two and a half hours sleep, but I actually feel okay, thank God for pre-caged. I don't know how many hours we spent in bloody planes altogether, but anyway, w luckily we got here. I didn't think we was gonna get here. The workout today is chest, and we're getting back into abs as well. So we've got quite a big cardio session uh, going on today as well. It's 45 minutes on the bike and it's a five mile run. I just fell on my ass. Uh, I rolled onto my ankle. Would you fucking believe it? I should stop. I should ice it probably, but I'm a little stubborn and I'll figure out what I've done later. There's a little bit of swell in there now, not much. So I should be okay, I should be right. There's hope for the old man yet. Hey, I'm about an hour. Yeah, just over an hour, hour and four minutes into this ride. I've just covered about 16 miles. Or 15 miles, sorry. And, uh, for my drills, whew, man, I'm getting lactic acid buildup, but it's tough going. This is definitely my hardest ride, not because of the route I've taken, but because I'm forcing it upon myself now. I'm making sure that when the five minutes is easy, I'm taking it very easy, I am recovering. But when it's the five minutes hard, I'm going bloody hard. I'm going at a much harder effort, so that's the idea. craziest shit has just happened to me. As I was coming down this hill, for some ungodly reason, I have no idea, I felt the chain slip and then completely lock up this time. The wheel completely locked up. I started sliding, as you can see, on this massive black line. The tire actually blew up, just a massive bang. And uh, I managed to stay on, thank God. What a fucking day, so I was, 
18.34 miles into my ride and I'd only been going an hour and 21 minutes. So unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to split this bike ride up. I mean, what a piss off, like I was really going well and I was hoping to get in um, a record mileage this morning, but I guess not. Shit happens, fuck. All right, day 13. As you saw on the GoPro this morning, the bike really screwed up this morning. It was, uh, the gear went, like the hub went or something. I've taken it to the store, they've gone through the hub, they've gone through the gearing, they've fixed it now. Uh, I just got a call, so I'm going to pick that up a little bit later. I finished my cardio on the Watt bike after, so I've got my time in, thank God. Um, I'm out here with these gentlemen. So we're going to shoot them up and have a little fun.